Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I'm at our botanical garden, and we have the succulent here. This here is a Senecio vitalis. It comes to us from the Eastern Cape of South Africa. It's a member of the Asteraceae family. So it's related to sunflowers, daisies, our cowdy brush, even our dreaded artichoke thistle. So our Senecio vitalis here, it's a succulent, goes by the name of narrow leaf chalk sticks, blue chalk fingers, and Senecio cylindricus. If you buy it at your local nursery, it's mostly called a narrow leaf chalk sticks. So the genus Senecio, it literally means old man, and it represents what's called a polyphyletic group of plants. And that means members of the genus Senecio are not related by genes or ancestry, but they're related by phylogeny, or the way they look, and some of the characteristics of how they grow. So Senecio genus is sort of a dumping ground for a wide range of otherwise unrelated succulents. So our Senecio vitalis, or the narrow leaf chopstick here, it's a spreading evergreen succulent. It's a terrific ornamental for your drought tolerant gardens, your rock gardens, your succulent gardens, your Mediterranean gardens. It grows about two feet tall, about five feet wide. It likes sandy, dry to medium moisture, well-drained soils, direct sun, maybe a little shade. It's a succulent, of course, so it's very drought tolerant. And unlike our other succulents, our Senecio here, it's a winter grower and is dormant in the summertime. That's why it looks so good here in December in Cota de Casa. Let's take a closer look here. And the stems, the stems here are a shiny gray-green color and basically the same color as the leaves. And the leaves here have this glaucous gray color. All right, they're very slender. They're sort of finger-like. They're cylindrical and round, and they always curve upward. They're also very brittle here. Let's see if I break one. See how it just kind of breaks right off? So they're pretty fragile. And they're about three to five inches long. It makes them longer than many of the other uh, Senecio succulents. So the stems, they also contain alkaloids, which act as natural biocides to help deter or even kill animals that try to eat them like a snail. Wow. So the stems here, they'll start out erect and upright, but eventually they start to lay down, like this guy, and they become procumbent. And that means they bend to the ground and they spread out. Then at the nodes, they'll send out new roots to create new plants. And that's how you get this super dense layer of pretty green upright fingers of succulents. All right, so I'm gonna show you a real good example over here of what this uh, procumbent thing looks like. Here's another set of uh, Arsenicio vitalis. So this guy here, all right, it's his plant here, it lays out a large stem and the stem then here spreads down and roots itself. And this is just way in there. I can't even, you know, can't even move it out. So rooted. And it sends up new growth like this here. Let's get all these fingers here of this big bed of our Senecio vitalis. All right, and then it continues to grow and simply repeat the cycle. So this plant here, it usually flowers in summer and spring, but over here, we're pretty lucky because we have some that are flowering in December. All right, here, look at this one here. So this is all laying down like this on the ground. And it'll end, and right here at the bottom, it'll start to send out new roots and grow. But up here, 
they're the flowers. All right, and they form on clusters on top of the plant, and they're typically yellow, mostly all the time, but sometimes you might get green or purple, or white or even blue, and they cluster what's called coriums. And a corium is a flower cluster where the outer stalks of the flowers are longer than the ones in the center. So this allows the outer part to grow higher than the center, and so you get a flat layer of flowers on top instead of like a concave. And sometimes the outer flowers are so long, it actually makes a little bit of a convex shape as well. Wow, these are pretty cool for December bloomers. Okay, so this is a terrific succulent, finely textured plant, medium height ground cover, provides a great contrast in color to the other uh, plants in your landscape that might be a little more dormant in winter. Our Senecio vitalis, the narrow leaf chalk sticks. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, please have a great day. Thanks, bye.